Hey Aquarius, this is your monthly for January 2019. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general, so it will not resonate for everyone. But um, if you guys are interested in a personal, the information is down below the video. And um, if you're new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to go ahead and do a Celtic for you guys for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I'm going to lay the cards face down so we can explore them together. What's going on for my Aquarius? What do Aquarius need to know for January? Aquarius. you see yourself is not trying to let anyone hurt you it's like you know regardless you're going to protect yourself and I feel like you know if you need to be ugly it's just what needs to happen I feel like that's how you feel like you're going to protect yourself at all costs it's what I'm getting here okay that is your card Let's see what the energy around you is. Yeah, you're you're feeling you're feeling weighed down. You're feeling like you you you've got all the weight on your shoulders. You're feeling stressed. Um, you you're trying to continue to move forward, and you just constantly feel like you know things are coming at you from all directions. So it's like you know, not today. If there's any bull crap in the air, it's like you're not having it. You're, you're cutting it out. Okay, let's see what your challenge is. I feel like your challenge is to be secure within yourself. To kind of, you know, get your finances together. To feel confident. Because um, I feel like there's, there's something here that has... Um, It's got you feeling less than for some reason. Let's see why you're here. Yeah, there there's some seeds that you've planted, and I feel like this is a financial thing. Um, and you're waiting to see, like, you know, is this going to work out? Is this going to work out? So I feel like Basically, here in the Five of Swords, um, you're fighting to get on. Um, and I feel like this is something financial. You're, you're fighting to be noticed. It's almost like, um, I'm not going to stop until I am noticed. I'm not going to stop until I get what I want. I am going to work hard. I will carry this burden. I can go further. Yes, yeah, it's a weight on my shoulders, but this is where I'm trying to get to right here. I can't pick the card up. This is your challenge. You're being challenged to get your money. Get your money. Um, feel secure in yourself. Feel confident in yourself. Get your money. This is what I'm feeling strongly. I feel like this is like all about um, your finances. Yeah. There's something that you have done that um, is like you've planted your seeds and now you're just waiting to see, you know, is this going to take off? Is this going to work? What I've done, the applications that I've put out there. Um, I think this is all about work. Yeah, let's see what's going on in the past. Yeah, you were very unsure of yourself, I feel. You were very unsure of yourself, unsure of something, unsure of, you know, if you were making the right moves in order to be able to get to a point where, you know, you could feel financially secure. And your best possible outcome is <clears throat> the Hierophant. And I feel like you will get to a point where you actually um, perfect your craft, whatever that is for you, whatever that means for you. Um, if you have just started a new job, um, you will feel confident and you will uh, get to a point where you're secure in that. You are 
um, confident in what you are actually engaging in, what you're doing, what you have started, you are going back to school to do so. Um, I see that for some of you. If it's something that you actually have to go and get a degree for, I see that. Um, but I do see you, you know, going further, furthering your knowledge, furthering your schooling, whatever it is that is going to bring you success, I do see you doing that in um, the best possible outcome here. Okay, as long as you continue to, to strive forward and um, gain your confidence, be sure of what it is that you are wanting to do and stand by that, I feel, okay? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see you doing what you love. I, whatever it is that you're doing is something that you feel very passionate about here. And I see you moving at a very fast pace, um, going towards the things that, that you love to do, whatever that is for you. And I'm trying to get an indication of what that could possibly be. Um, for some of you, it is actually teaching. I see. For some of you, it is um, the arts, maybe singing, um, maybe dancing. Okay, something like that. Let's see what's an outside influence. Hmm. 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 Could be a cancer individual that is. Um, that's, that's helping you, that's standing behind you, that's supporting you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, or Jupiter. Someone with this placement, somebody that's very loving, very supportive, um, very family-oriented. Could be a mother, um, could be an aunt, somebody that you, you possibly look to for advice, okay? Your hopes and fears, that you'll be strong enough um, to endure whatever it is that you need to to succeed in whatever area that you are trying to succeed in and I feel like you will okay um, this is Leo energy let's see so far we have Leo Cancer um, Taurus Virgo Sagittarius energy in your chart okay in your spread I mean it does not have to be those energies, but that's the energy I see present. Let's see. And the best possible outcome is that um, I feel like you are very giving. You're, you're doing something that actually involves working with other people, helping other people out. And that could very well be, like I said, a teacher. Or it could be the arts. It could be dancing. It could be singing because... Um, you know, music and dancing entertainment actually um, draws people in, and sometimes people use that as um, as a solace, as something that you know helps them to calm down or that they can relate to. Okay, so I do see you doing that, and that's wonderful, Aquarius. So, my Aquarius friends, I. Um, that is that is your monthly for January, and I really see you guys doing big things, okay? So take care, be blessed, and I'll speak with you soon.